schedule is out, and now it is time to get the best seats in the house. We are talking about next year's Widener Center schedule. Artistic Director Kelly Strickland here to help us. We're going to mark down our calendars this morning. This is the time. This <laughs> is, is the time. All right, let's talk a little bit. Uh, let's start with something pretty exciting: the reestablishment of an orchestra. Yes, that's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, Coffin Family Hall, as so many know in this community, has some of the most amazing acoustics for, of any venue in the state. It's yeah. really remarkable. Um, and the Green Bay Symphony sadly closed its doors a few years ago. So reestablishing the Widener Philharmonic at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay um, is is the reestablishment of a of a uh, professional orchestra in our community. You have such exciting Broadway productions coming as well. Indeed. You're going to know every song in Beautiful, the Carol King musical. Every one. And most, <laughs> some, sometimes you don't even know because yes. she, her body of work is huge. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you, it's, a, it's a great musical. She's a remarkable woman. You were just saying that she's mm. been here before. Yes. What a Amazing. luminary. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so Beautiful is one that we're really looking forward to. The 20th anniversary tour of Rent is oh, wow. coming through. That was my first show I ever saw at the White Was it? Yes. Was it? Well, it's uh, yeah, it's a notable anniversary for Rent, and uh, and we're looking forward to that one as well. Along with um, the tunes of uh, featured in the play, always Patsy Cline. She's mm -hmm. another one that has a body of work that mm -hmm. is just. Every song you go, oh, that one too. <laughs> and that is, uh, that's, it's a Widener Center production? Yes, yeah. And so, so last year you did, or this past season, you did Lombardi. Yeah, we produced Lombardi. The nice thing is it gets to sit down for a few weeks, okay. so we get to spend some time with the artists. We get the artists to come here yeah. and chat with uh, people in the community. It's always, it's yeah. really great. That's great. Yeah. The holiday schedule makes such a great gift or activity for families. What do you guys have in, in, in store this year? Indeed. This is the way I like to think about subscribing. Yeah. Okay. It's sort of like like buying a present for yourself in the future. You know, you, you make the investment now, and then all of a sudden November and December runs around, and you go, oh my goodness, look, we have tickets. And it feels <laughs> like you're... Christmas Day. Right. <laughs> uh, so folks are always looking for ways to spend time with their family. This year we have Cirque Dream Holidays, which is really this wow. beautiful extravaganza, um, like a Cirque, uh, you know, a Cirque performance, but all holiday-themed, really beautiful. And Swing for the Holidays, which are the, all those favorite jazz standard holiday tunes. Um, it's an affordable night. It's an early night. It's a great night for the family. All right, something um, that I'm kind of interested in hearing about, I'm not familiar with this, a series yeah. of storytelling events? Sure, yeah. We're, we're producing a festival, and it's okay. called Word. And it's meant to look at uh, theatrical form in all its variations. So hip-hop theater, spoken word, okay. storytelling. Um, and one of our headlining performers for that series is the Q Brothers. So they're performing a, a show called Othello, the Remix. Okay. Um, it was commissioned by Shakespeare's Globe Theater in London. Uh, and it is uh, it's sort of a natural fit because Shakespeare hmm. wrote an iambic pentameter and sort of sort of retell that story uh, in rap uh, with those That's kind of hip hop beats. It makes perfect sense, and of course, it's about love and betrayal and all of those big things that make I, great songs. I see it's on Valentine's Day, so yeah, right. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now you touched on the subscription. Let's talk about how people secure tickets for these events. Yes. So visit WidenerCenter.com. All you have to do is choose three shows. You're by no means limited to three shows. You could mm -hmm. choose eight shows if, <laughs> yeah. if you'd be. Uh, and uh, you get 10% off all of those shows. You get to pick the best seats. Subscriptions are on sale now through uh, June 13th. And then individual ticket sales go on sale. But now is the time where if you buy a bundle of shows, you get a little... You get a little benefit a little there. Discount. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And can we go to Ticketstar online as well? Or? Yep. Ticketstar okay. online. WidenerCenter.com is really, you, you get all the information about the yeah. show. It'll take you to Ticketstar okay. Got it. Um, to make your purchase there. Just in case you've done that in the past. Okay. Yep. Yep. Well, it's a very exciting season coming up. Thanks for helping us mark I'm our calendars. I'm always happy to be here. Thank you <laughs> yeah, for having like me back. Having you. All right, here you see the details. Um, select three or more events right now. You get that discount at WidenerCenter.com. If you like to do it in person, Ticketstar locations work too. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks.